You can't always see the black toxic mold. I'm going to show you exactly how that works right now. So this is a bathroom sink area. Uh, we're going to look under here. Leaks happen under here all the time. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? And so when we get under here and we pull all that stuff out, you can see water staining in the cabinet floor. You can see it working its way to the back, okay? This is one of the, the signs of hidden mold growth, right? Hidden is the key term. You zoom in close on this, this does not look like black mold. That's not what this is, right? It looks like other types of mold. It looks like a, you know orange and different colors like that, but it doesn't look like black mold. And it really, to a lot of people, this doesn't even look that bad, right? It just looks like water staining. When you track this down below, so like you get to the floor down below, right? We want to follow water all the way it goes. And you can see this water's going all the way down here and you can see the staining in the baseboard and see the dark stuff down here, right? So when we're looking at this, this is how far we track and move things through. And look at this lab result. This is this area, the bathroom cabinet area in that wall. So look, aspergillus and penicillium, those molds grow in oranges and yellows and kind of brownish hues, okay? So when I'm looking at this, this looks like that, okay? Doesn't just look like water staining. It looks like mold growth. But then we saw this way down at the bottom down here, right? right. You're not sticking your head all the way under here. That's what we do. And then we look at this and we see black toxic mold is sitting right here, down here, all right? This is their son's bedroom. Their son was the reason they started this process, all right? It is so important to not just look at the surface of something and make an impromptu decision. Our eyes cannot see mold. We don't have microscopes for eyes. We need to be able to rely on testing and data to help us make the most targeted remediation decisions. We now know that this area has to be a top tier area that's addressed because of what we found in the way we inspected this and went down to the testing level.